Welcome back to Switch to Linux. We are here with another Monday Top 5, and today we're going to look at the top 5 reasons why you might consider Ubuntu Mate as your Linux distro, assuming that you are looking around for a distro to use. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I actually use Linux Mint Cinnamon, but there are a lot of great distros out there, a lot of great environments, a lot of great packages, just a lot of useful things. And uh, what I want to do over the next uh, several months is to highlight reasons why you might consider alternative Linux distros to what I use because, you know, Linux Mint Cinnamon isn't necessarily for everybody. Um, this one here, though, will focus once again on the same type of format. The same reason I would use Linux Mint Cinnamon would also go to follow with the um, Linux, um, uh, I'm sorry, with the uh, Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu Mate. So the computer I'm working on here is Ubuntu Mate 16.04, and I kept the 16.04 thread instead of going up to 17, just because I really like the um, I really like the the LTS releases. Um, I wasn't I'm still a little leery of some of the things that they did in 17, and when my uh, primary Ubuntu install with Unity died out, um, I wanted to get something that would be more compatible with this particular computer. Because I'm running AMD graphics card, Unity uh, on 16.04 uh, would uh, would not work well. They did fix that problem in 17. Uh, so if you are running an AMD card, you want to run Ubuntu with Unity, uh, then you can do it in 17. Um, so uh, with that, uh, we are going to have a look at my top five reasons that you might consider Ubuntu Mate. Okay, the first reason you might use Ubuntu Mate is Ubuntu has a very strong, very mature code base to it. Uh, it is based on the Debian branch, uh, but it does have a lot, you know, there's a company behind it, there's employees behind it, and there is a long, long time uh, use of users that will actually help in help in supporting you. So no matter what your questions are, if you are on any of the branches of Ubuntu, you can get the help you need pretty easily. Uh, there are a few different uh, a few different websites out there that could help you out with that. Um, these are all in the Ubuntu forums. Um, so the um, uh, let me just move this guy over here a little bit. So the Ubuntu forums here um, at ubuntuforums.org, you can look up any questions that you might have over here. There's also the OMG Ubuntu site, uh, which I believe also has some forums over here as well. I'm on the UK version, but um, you can get these two places. You can get just a ton of different help. Uh, helps that you can get for any types of questions that you have. So no matter what your issue is, you know, if you're on a lot of other distros, you may not be able to find quite as easy ready access to supports. But it is a strong code base. It is very mature. It is clean. It is well documented. It's not like uh, a lot of distros, and there's been a whole lot of distros coming up that they're great, and I support people doing this type of work, but they're taking the core bases, and then they're just doing a little things, patching things together and you can end up with kind of a little bit of a mess in there and uh, so sticking with some of your major ones like Ubuntu or Debian or Fedora or OpenSUSE or uh, Linux Mint will get a little bit more mature and a little bit cleaner of a code base so that's my top number one reason is a very strong very mature code base okay my second reason is the Mate desktop is very familiar, particularly if you are coming from a Windows environment. Now, different distros will apply it in different means. I did customize this desktop a little bit to make it a little bit more like Windows. So on Linux Mint Mate, I will get much more of this advanced menu down here uh, versus on uh, Linux uh, on uh, Ubuntu Mate here. We don't have that menu by default, but we come up here and we have the menu up here. Now I've enabled a little bit of the slight transparency, which I really like. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit uh, more, but this is a very customizable system. Um, but regardless, I do like uh, I do like having the ability to um, to have each of these. Uh, each of these menus on here. Of course, if you are curious, and some people have asked, how did I get that menu down there? Well, you just come down to the lower panel. Uh, you want to add uh, add to panel there, and then what this one is is the um, 
this is the advanced menu. Let's see if it's actually, I'm not sure if I can add two of them or not. Uh, application launcher, just do a menu search here. There's a GNOME main menu. Um, this one I believe is the one I have, the advanced Mate menu. So I just added that and that worked. So if I click over here, you'll see this is the advanced Mate menu. So that's what I do, just click on this, hit add the panel and that will add it. And then what you wanna do is you want to um, move things around. So you can, right now you can see I have it locked to the panel. Um, so you can move things around. So I've actually locked everything just so it doesn't move around because I like it how it's set up here. You know, I have over here the uh, minimize all windows uh, option, which will return me back to the desktop. I have a trash can icon over here, which I can right click and empty the trash um, if I want to there as well. Uh, I do have another trash can icon that is on the desktop. Uh, but this is very familiar system to uh, if you are coming from the Windows. This uh, Ubuntu can also be fairly common, like a very familiar system if you're coming from, uh, from Mac as well. You know, we have... Uh, uh, items up here that you can shut down the computer or log off. You have your clock up here. So there's a lot of different features and functionality that you can do. The Mate desktop is a, is a very mature desktop. There's a lot of information out there on it. And it's certainly one that, um, uh, certainly a desktop that is a, um, uh, certainly is a desktop that, that has a lot of, uh, a lot of functionality. So my third reason that you might uh, consider Ubuntu Mate is it is a complete system with utilities out of the box. Now, this is one of my working distros. This is specifically my distro that I use for backing up my media. Um, I have a backup of whatever's on my, uh, my uh, NAS servers on here. And so I use this computer here for, uh, not only do I do a number of videos on this computer, but I also use this computer for backing up all of my various data, digital files, music, uh, photographs, documents, things like that will all uh, be an extra copy on here. And this gives me a way that I can, can have a copy of, um, of all of my different systems in case something, uh, you know, something happens to crash somewhere along, around the line. I have the data at least over here. Um, but uh, outside of the few programs I've installed, for the most part, you know, there's a whole lot in here. We have a backup utility. We have character maps, a disk manager, you know, archives, calculators, there's search tools, a password manager. You know, these are all things that I, uh, that I had uh, are on here without me having to install anything. I did install the ebook viewer. Um, let's see, what else did I install? I installed, um, uh, I installed Calibri. I installed the K address book to manage my, uh, my contacts for my phones. Um, a lot of things under sound and video I did install. I think cheese Brasario uh, comes pre-installed and rhythm box comes pre-installed maybe vlc uh, but outside of that you know you can see i've added a lot of other things because like i said this is a media management system so i've added a lot of different a lot of different things to to help with my um uh, with my media management work uh, but it does feel like a very complete system out of the box it's uh it's so it's not like it's too light on applications but it's not super heavy where it has a lot of redundancy in it but no matter what you want to do on ubuntu mate you can get it done without having to spend a lot of extra time building in your uh your base there um the last, or the, the fourth reason, I'm sorry, the fourth reason you'd consider using Ubuntu Mate uh, as a daily driver is that the there are a lot of available packages. As if they're not already installed on the computer, you can install a lot of applications very easily in the software, um, uh, software center. Now, one of the things I don't like about Mate is I really do not like the software boutique that they uh, they have pre-installed on here. Um, what primarily the thing I don't like about it is there's no search function, um, which to me is a little bit weird. And uh, if you know exactly the packages you're looking for, 
this is going to be handy. But if you want to search for like a PDF reader and you don't know the specific name of it, you can't do this from in here. But from the uh, from the package manager, I actually did install the um, Ubuntu Software Center. So I did install this and the Ubuntu Software Center contains essentially the same software. In fact, possibly the exact same software packages. Um, but there is a search function. So if I do want to look for something that is uh, that is uh, not installed or I don't know exactly what it is I'm looking for, I can type it into the search bar over here and I can get a very nice, uh, very nice list. So this is a software package that I installed. Um, but regardless of this, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of your uh, software is still available. And for that that is not available, you do have the easy ability to add PPAs uh, through the terminal and you might actually be able to add them through the uh, software manager. I think you might be able to. Let me just have a quick look at the software manager. Um, <clears throat> a lot of distros do not allow you. Yeah, so right here you can come down here and if you know the the line that you need to add, like here's an example, if you know the, the PPA you need to add, you can actually add it here and add the sources directly here through the GUI instead of going through the terminal. If, uh, if the terminal scares you a little bit, that's okay. You can add your PPAs in here in the user interface rather than having to uh, go into the, um, uh, into the uh, uh, terminal. Uh, so you can install a lot of new applications. There's a lot already there. Now the fifth reason I would consider Ubuntu Mate as a daily driver is it just works out of the box. Um, this thing is solid. It has, well, it's never crashed on me outside of me doing something silly with it, like overloading it with video data or something. Um, but it's very stable out of the box. It has the codex installed out of the box. So there's a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of information um, that is available. Of course, here is your customization, which I didn't even really touch on a whole lot. Um, but uh, everything from you can choose to use proprietary drivers that are already set up, um, or you can choose to use the um, you can choose to use the um, uh, you know the open source drivers. Regardless, you have those choices. It will give you the option to install the codex. Uh, out of the box uh, and you can easily add them in a later time if you choose not to do that. Uh, we also have a very nice welcome screen which will help you out if you uh, if you are um, uh, new to Ubuntu Mate. When you first log into the computer you will have this option. Of course I have turned this off by now uh, because I am more familiar with the system but I can check this on and then whenever I log into the computer it will actually pull this up. This will give us a lot of introductory notes here. So here is um, just some basic information about the system. And, uh, you know, very useful for a new user to, to see that information there. Of course, I didn't want to completely close that out yet. We'll look at everything else that was in there. So I'm going to skip back to that. Um, here's your features. How's, here's how you get started. Chat rooms, software downloads. Uh, so there's a whole lot of information in here that uh, will help you out if you are new to this to the system. Of course, I did customize this out of the box. I was keeping it mostly non-customized. This is a uh, one of the available wallpapers in here that I like, uh, but I did customize things. I like the transparencies, so you see where I put transparencies in some of the menus. Um, and this one here even has a little bit of transparency. And uh, I did this just by using the Compiz Manager, and then you just need to switch the Window Manager uh, from the Default Manager over to Compiz, and then that will work out great. If you want to see a video on how to do that kind of stuff, uh, let me know, and I would be more than happy to um, uh, do a little uh, tutorial on the Compiz. So those are my top five reasons why you might want to consider Ubuntu Mate if you are still looking around for a Linux distro. Once again, very strong, uh, mature code base. The desktop is very easy to use. It is a very mature desktop, um, not prone to crashing very frequently. Um, Ubuntu Mate is complete uh, with the utilities and common packages. And um, we have a, the extra availability of a whole lot of other resources and the ability to add new PPAs into the system, which I believe I've added for Simple Screen Recorder and OBS probably. Uh, if I have OBS on here, I think I do. Um, and then, of course, everything works out of the box.
So those are my top five reasons to use Ubuntu Mate. So thanks for watching today. And again, if you'd like to help support the channel here at Switch to Linux, you can check out our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. Or you can find the link for that down below in the uh, description. And you can also help support the channel if you shop at Amazon by using the Amazon link down below. And uh, that will help, uh, help uh, with Switch to Linux uh, bring in a little bit of revenue to help us keep moving on creating good content. So with that, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.